Hello, we're going to look at more questions on arithmetic. In this question, <clears throat> we are we have a lorry, a huge vehicle. And the weight of this lorry is 4.3 tons. And we are given that the number of uh, that, that this this number is given to the nearest ten. But what does it mean? The nearest tenth. What's this tenth about? Well, the tenth here refers to the fraction one tenth, one over ten. So one over ten means a tenth with a th behind it. So it means a fraction. And to the nearest tenth. Uh, let me uh, make this clearer. To the nearest tenth of a ton. Now, alright, so we know that it means 1 over 10 of a ton, but, but what does this mean? To the nearest 1 over 10 of a ton. Now it becomes clearer if we think of 1 over 10 as a decimal, 0 0.1. What this simply means is that this number is the weight given to one decimal place. So that is the first step to understand this question. So we'll, that, that means that 4.3 tons is a number that's corrected to 0 0.1 decimal place. So this is what we are given, and the question now is we must find a lower bound. We must find a lower bound for the mass of this lorry. So what does this lower bound here mean? Now it has something to do with the correcting to the nearest decimal place. If you think about correcting the number to the nearest decimal place, we can start imagining examples of, of what numbers will correct to 4.3. That means that the actual mass of the ruler is, or of the lorry may not be actually 4.3. So just for example, just for example, if the lorry is actually 4.3. 3 1 tons. Then, when we round off to the first decimal place, we will get 4.3. Or, you can, if it is 4.28 tons, then when we round off to the um, nearest, uh, to the first decimal place, 4.28 uh, will also become 4.3. So it can have different numbers. It is possible. All right. It is not exactly four point three. And lower bound just means the lowest, the smallest possible number that will give you four point three when you round off to one decimal place. So, uh, and you can, as you can see from these two simple example here. There are different numbers, so of course some numbers, some number can be bigger, some number can be smaller. So the question about the lower bound is really to ask you what is the smallest possible number you can get that will still round to 4.3 when you want to round it to one decimal place. Now we know the rules of 
rounding off. And in the rules of rounding off, the smallest number that you can have is 4.25. This is the smallest number that will round up to 4.3. If you have a smaller number than that, like 4.24, this will round to 4.2 instead. All right, so so that's that's not what we, what we want. So it is 4.25 that is the lower bound. That is the smallest number that will round to 4.3. That's the answer for this part of the question. The next question, we still have the lorry, it is still 4.3 tons, but now we put a lot of stuff on the lorry, so it becomes a lot heavier. Okay, and after adding this load to the lorry, the total mass is now 6.8 tons. Question, what is the upper bound on the load of this lorry? What is the biggest possible mass of the, of the load? Now again, as we have seen from the last part of this question, it is about rounding off. It doesn't mean that the load is actually bigger or smaller. All right. So in order to find the answer, um, right, we already understood that the 4.3 tons of the lorry, it can mean that the actual mass is a bit bigger or a bit smaller. So in the same way, the 6.8 tons, which is the sum of these two, it can also be a little bit bigger or smaller, like 6.81 tons or 6.78 tons, for example. So again, the 6.8 figure here is the, the answer after rounding off to one decimal place. So the first step um, is, to, is to write this out, write, write out a sum for the load. So, what we see here is that um, the load should be 6.8 minus the mass of the lorry, 4.3. Now we can easily find the answer to this, but that's not the upper bound, because again, the idea is it has to do with rounding off. Because the 6.8 tons here is a rounded off number, so it can actually be a bit bigger or smaller. 4.3 can also be a bit bigger or smaller because it comes from rounding off. So that means that the difference between the two can be it can be a bit different from what you get if you if you just subtract those. But let me just subtract them anyway, just to get an idea. Right, so 6.8 minus 4.3 would be 2 minus 5. Uh, that would be 2.5. Right. So the actual answer can also be a bit bigger or smaller. And the question is, what is the upper bound? It means that right, we, we, we know that it can be a bit bigger or smaller than 2.5, but what is the biggest possible number for the load. Now 
the quick way to do this is to look at the difference. For example, if I look at the 6.8, like I say, it can be a bit bigger or smaller. Now, if this, this actual number is a bit bigger, then my answer will also be a bit bigger. All right. Now let's look at the 4.3, that's of the lorry. Again, this can be a bit bigger or smaller. Now, what if this number is a bit bigger? Say I keep this number fixed. If that number is a little bit bigger, then when I minus, the answer will be a bit smaller because we are minusing a, a slightly bigger number, so the answer will become a bit smaller. Now, but we are interested in the upper bound, right? The biggest possible answer for that. So we don't want to make that a bit bigger. We want to make that a bit smaller. So when you minus a slightly smaller number, your answer will become a bit bigger. So in other words, to get the biggest possible uh, answer, I must use the biggest possible uh, value for this and the smallest possible value for that. So what's the biggest possible value for the 6.8? What's the upper bound? Right, because it's corrected um, to one decimal place, the biggest possible value would be 6.85. Right, let me let me rephrase that. I shouldn't say that it's the biggest possible value because 6.85 would actually round up to 6.9 and not 6.8. I should call it the upper bound. Right, that's the proper name for to describe this situation. It can't actually be 4.85. Upper bound just means that it has to be less than that. So for that, I want to make it a bit smaller, all right, so that I get a bigger answer. And the, the, the smallest, in this case, it would be the smallest possible value, would be 4.25. That is the smallest number that would round up to 4.3. So now I can find my answer. Six point eight five minus four point two five. Five and five is zero. Um, eight minus two is six. Six minus four is two. Two point six, and that is the upper bound for the load. So this is how we get the answer. Okay, we'll stop here.